Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, where we cover all things professional wrestling, from new wrestling to classic wrestling and everything in between. We go to wrestling, we do some wrestling, and everything in the ring. Join us now for Wrestling Talk in the Shop. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going to go over an album that I've acquired when I bought out that uh, wrestling collection. And uh, one of the coolest things, I know there's a lot of cool stuff in that collection, but I, I really wanted this album. The guy kind of showed it to me and I was like, eh, is that included in it or what? But he didn't say it wasn't included in it, so I took it with me <laughs> when, we, uh, when we purchased it. You know, I, I have a big mark for <clears throat> wrestling pictures and stuff like that. So if you want to uh, come this way and we'll look through it. Excuse us, technical difficulties. <laughs> Check that, I don't even know what that was. That's a, uh, the rock money. I never even knew there was such a thing. I mean. A million dollars. Yeah, that's what, about what I least spent on this collection, what it seems like. And then we have uh, some tickets, you know. Uh, I, always, I always thought, well, I should have saved my printed ticket. Now you don't even get a ticket, it's on your phone. But there's Shane O'Mac money. That means he uh, sit pretty close on the floor because where we sit at, <laughs> you're spending Shane O'Mac money to sit up there, but you don't get any Shane O'Mac. What is that? WWE Presents WrestleMania? Is that? That's WrestleMania 32, isn't it? Yeah, we went there. Uh -huh. Yeah. We didn't sit on the floor. No, no, no. That was one. Then we got a nice shot of the Divas here. We got Sable, Tori Wilson, uh, Lita. Trish Stratus. I'm not sure who this girl's name is. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, that's Stacy Keebler. There's Gail Kim. We were watching her on Impact a while ago. Thousandth episode of Impact. Then we got. Uh, is that a picture? I mean, is that like a, a sign? Yeah, I know it's a sign. I don't know, but let's pull it out. Oh, it's. A, I don't know what it is. It's like a something maybe he printed off the internet and had him. I don't know. Had him sign it. I don't know. It's it's like photo paper. It's just yeah. like flat photo yeah. paper. China Triple H. What is this? Oh, another Triple H picture here. Triple H. That's the game. Pull it out. Oh, I guess they're stuck together. Maybe you shouldn't have done it like that. No, they're not. Yeah. That was like nice eight by ten of the Triple H. Then we've got. Ray Mysterio. That's a good one. We got remember this show, Lindsay? We went to this show. The uh mm -hmm. been a long time ago. I'm just gonna pull this stuff out, I'll put it Are back. Are we dating him? Yeah, I think well, I don't even think we were married then. Because remember you said you had Kevin Von Eric's uh Yeah, I have his signature. Autograph or Alright, this show we had uh Roddy Piper, he didn't can you see can you see? He didn't wrestle, but he come out and did a little talking. Kevin Von Eric, he come out and did a little little program program promo. We had uh, Greg Valentine, Brutus. I don't remember Brutus Beefcake, but maybe he was there. He Bill, was. Uh, I mean that's been a long time ago. Skandar Akbar, Bill After, Lance Hoyt, which is uh, Lance Archer, now in uh, AEW. Sean Stasiak, he wrestled on WWE. Yeah. WWE, I mean, WCW. His dad was actually a WWE champion way back in the day. Or WWF champion, however you want to call it. But Yeah, that's pretty cool. I remember going to that show. That thing probably cost. Then we got Sabu. Uh, we seen him. Up close. Yeah, double or nothing. Is that, he's uh, the suicidal, homicidal Sabu. <laughs> You got Booker T. That's an autograph there. Booker Huffman. Kevin Nash. Big sexy Kevin Nash. You got WWE. Uh, Crystal. Crystal Diva. Crystal. Autograph. Jim Ross. Good old JR. Uh, 
the greatest announcer there ever was. He's still doing it today. He's not quite the, pull it out. He's not quite what he was back in the day, but oh, I'll probably put that in a frame. That's pretty, that's cool there. Jim Ross. Uh, Tommy Dreamer, the new Impact Digital Media Champion. Ah, try not to hurt him. Pull him. But yeah, he just uh, he said he wrestled his last hardcore match the other day. That's what he he said that and big uh, big original ECW member. Then we got surely that's not autographed, is it? John Cena. I don't know what. Live fast, fight hard. Sure, it's hard to get these out of here. Yeah. Yep, it's all good. Yeah. You think that's his legit auto? Yeah. Sixteen-time champion himself. I don't know why he had the fake cards up here. <laughs> all the real ones. Oh, how do you know they're all real? You don't. He might have been. He might have had this sign even. Anyway, oh, let's move on. You got Coda in here. He's uh one of the uh he was this guy was huge in Mexico. Anyway, anyway, this this guy was huge in Mexico. I mean, he really he was credited for bringing uh, Rey Mysterio to the US and getting hit, you know, getting Rey Mysterio start. I mean, but and he was a big part of uh he was a US champion. I think he uh he lost the or won the US title from Ric Flair in WCW, but he never, you know, I, he he's appeared in WWE a few times. He actually inducted Rey Mysterio into the Hall of Fame shortly. But uh, Conan, a big star in the, uh, in Mexico and in WCW. And I think he's got a podcast with Dis Disco Inferno now. I don't ever listen to it. but Then we got here the cult of personality himself. CM Punk. Is that an autograph there? Uh... He's certainly been in the news here lately. Authentic signature. You think he just buy this somewhere? Or you I think, think he can some... buy them at the events. Oh, okay. Like they already cranked them out, signed. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. You know how like his meet and greets and stuff. But you can tell you think he did he meet CM Punk you think? I don't know. Anyway, I'm he's possible. maybe on his way back to WWE. And then this old girl here, she was married to uh, Jackie Haas. She used to be married to uh, to uh, Charlie Hoss. She was Jackie Gadia or something in WWE. And uh, once upon a time, she had a uh, like a nutrition weight loss energy or nutrition store in uh, Collin County, Texas. I mean, her and uh, Charlie Hoss, and I think they've since divorced. But uh, that one's actually to him. To Brandon Jackie, but you know, he probably got that in the independent show. But it's pretty cool. Then we got her husband, Charlie Haas, on the back. Nice, got them together. I don't know what he's, uh, Good Brandon. he's not doing much anymore, I don't guess. <laughs> then we got, uh, Kevin Thorne, I remember him. He wrestled on the uh, short WWE revival of ECW there when it was around. Then we got a nice Polaroid of Brandon himself. And uh, I don't know who that guy is, but Brandon, you're YouTube famous if you're watching this. <laughs> Maybe you should give him that back. I don't know. Then we got Lance Hoyt. Lance Archer, whatever he, you know, he I seen him wrestle. He wrestled a lot in our town. Whenever that one's actually to him, it says NWA TNA. I guess that's when they were in the, in the. Uh, I remember Eugene. Yeah, in the Eugene, Eric Bischoff's nephew. You know, they would never do a gimmick like this anymore. He's, uh, you know, that was sort of taboo. You know, now he, I guess he was autistic or retarded or whatever or mentally i guess i shouldn't say that word yeah. uh but he was mentally challenged or whatever uh but anyway they would never do that anymore then we got the modern uh, modern day warrior carry von eric nice that's, that's a later picture he was probably is it an actual picture i can't 
You're looking through this like we are. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Yeah, it's a photo. Uh, pretty cool. I, you know, he probably wasn't far from his demise then. I mean, you could. And then we got Slam Shady. I remember him coming to town. I don't know if he ever actually did anything. It was a ploy off of Slim Shady back in the 90s, you know, when you would come out to <laughs> at an independent show, you would come out to. But yeah, that's Slim Slam Shady was this old boy's name. Greg Valentine. Greg Valentine there, he's uh not a very nice wrestler if you ever meet him back, you know, he was all about the money, you know, he you know, which you know, he wouldn't he wouldn't sign or anything like that. Wouldn't even barely say hi to you. You had to pay him five dollars just to say hi, you know. But man, back in the day, and I'm not sure who this guy is. Uh, probably a local independent wrestler or whatever. And I don't know. Then we got Davari over here. Davari, he's a. Uh, he was a good wrestler. He's, I think he still works for WWE as a backstage producer or something like that. I'm not 100% certain, but I think he does. We got Brandon. Brandon and I don't know who that is. I assume it's a diva at some point. I know that's the guy I bought all the wrestling stuff off of. I don't know why. For some reason or another, he sold his wrestling collection to me. <laughs> we got Carlito. Get it back over here, Carlito. He's supposedly uh, on his way back. According to the internet, he is signed back to WWE, but he had never made his return yet. They and, supposedly had him do something you know. at that Puerto Rico show. Oh yeah, he was on yeah. the Puerto Rico. Yeah, he was on. That was uh, um, payback or yeah. something. Yeah, but he was. But he's. I think he's back under contract with them. You know, maybe gonna come back and do the LWO. He's definitely changed his look from there. He was young then. Got another nice eight by ten John Cena eight by ten. Chain gang. Yeah. We got Sean Stasiak. He's got Kurt Henning there in his arms, and uh, I think he's a chiropractor now in the Dallas area. I think that's what I read. And Interesting. His dad he he had a plan where he was going to try to go and be WWE champion, but he wasn't. You know. But his dad was, you know. Then you got Stone Cold, the Texas Rattlesnake, over here. Nice eight by ten. I wish that was autographed. Then you got the Sandman. The Sandman. Uh, he he was the original e ECW guy. I think he made a few appearances for WWE. You know, he would come out and bash the beer can on his head and mm -hmm. beat himself up before he ever got in the ring. Hardcore wrestling. I'm not really a fan of hardcore wrestling, you know, and it's all over nowadays, but I, I really wasn't an ECW fan. I mean, it was their pure wrestling was great, but their hardcore wrestling to me was just garbage. There's The Rock. I mean, definitely uh, got bigger than pro wrestling right there. That's a nice young Rock. You know, he, he looks better with age too, doesn't he? <laughs> He had a little hair left in him. Yeah. <laughs> you got the Phenom. The Undertaker. Boy, he looked young there himself, didn't he? And that's the Sarah. That's his uh <laughs> his ex-wife. I wonder you know, he had she you know, DDP kidnapped her back in the day. You know, that was Sarah and, and you got damn. Ron Simmons, damn. You know. First African American uh, world heavyweight champion. I don't think he's. I think there was one actually before him, but he was the uh, first WCW world heavyweight champion. Anyway, you got Rakushi, part of the bloodline. It's uh, the Usos' daddy and Solo Sika. He was supposed to be coming back to referee a match between them, but I think the he somebody spoiled it. And you got the Rock and Roll Express. Ricky and Robert, Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson. Uh, they're still wrestling. Ricky Morton's still wrestling today with his son. He's still wrestling some today, and I don't know what Robert Gibson. He's probably tired, <laughs> but uh, definitely a gimmick that uh, 
they played the heartthrob gimmick and they still playing it today <laughs> and then you got sasha banks let's go over here and get this one sasha banks mercedes Mon monet hopefully we'll be seeing her in aew at some point in time when she gets her leg healed up or ankle or whatever definitely a great wrestler seemed like every time she got the world title in wwe she wouldn't hold it very long to me i mean you know what i mean but she was definitely a great wrestler we got over here the man when the man comes around becky lynch and uh, this was definitely the peak of her popularity right here when she won that three-way match with uh charlotte. charlotte and ronda rousey i mean she was definitely on top of the world the first women uh main event wrestlemania and i mean it was definitely that's I wish it would have been just her and Ronda Rousey, but then they had to insert Charlotte. But, I mean, it was good. But, I mean, definitely, she's, uh, I think she's the current NXT Women's Champion now. She mm -hmm. won it Tuesday. Yeah. But, uh, definitely the peak of her popularity. Then we got here Johnny Gargano. Uh, NXT, I don't, I don't know who he's, can't see who he's got there in the, Crossface, but there's Johnny Gargano. He's on the Raw. I guess he is. I don't know if he's hurt or not. I haven't seen him in there in a while. Yeah. We've got here the Viper, Randy Orton. My favorite. Yeah, I know that's your man there. Ain't it? <laughs> I like Randy. And, uh, and uh, if hopefully he gets over his back injury. We can get him to come in and do one more final run. And we got some tickets over there. Worlds Collide. Toyota Center. 2020. 2020. Before everything shut down in January. Yeah. What is this? Looks like a uh, card. Oh, this is a. Uh, oh, this is. Let's see what you can get. A. Uh, we'll go over this real quick. This is 2020. 2020. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Flair. You can get an autograph and a photo op. Down the toilet over here. So for. Uh, let me get it out of here. There we go. You can get a million dollar man, 30 bucks for an autograph, or 50 for a photo op. Sasha Banks, I bet you can't do it for this now. 79 or 79 a piece. Yeah, photo op. Bray Wyatt, 99 each. Charlotte Flair, 79 each. Randy Orton, 79. Yeah, Leo Rush, 30 to 30 bucks. Johnny Gargano. And I know you can't do this one. Randy Orton, 150 each. Uh, not not Randy Orton. Uh, Ray, uh, Randy oh, Orton's no. 80, 80. Excuse me. Randy Orton is 80 bucks a piece. Roman Reigns is one 150 each. Yeah. And then Becky Lynch is 80, 90 bucks a piece. Ray Mysterio, 80. I wonder what they are now. I don't know. Oh, this is like, this ain't even a wrestling event. This was just like a guest lineup. Because then you got Zach Morris. <laughs> he, he can get a... Uh, Autograph show of Texas. Yeah. He can get uh, 60 bucks a piece for Zach Morris. A.C. Slater, 60 bucks a piece. And... Uh, huh, this is like different stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't know who. What is this? Darn Steve Urkel. Yeah, I see Steve Urkel. Daniel LaRusso. I don't know. He, he well, I've heard of Daniel. Oh, he was on the Karate Kid show. Okay, okay. Yeah, 60 bucks a piece. Or you can get a combo for uh, 80 bucks. An inscription for 20. Two words only. <laughs> Steve Urkel. Best wishes. <laughs> yeah, best wishes. 20 bucks for two words. And then uh, Steve Urkel, he's 60 bucks a piece. Inscription, 20. Is that inscription like it's two? Two brand new. Man, that's two crazy. Brand new. 25 bucks for Steve Urkel. For an inscription, Carmen Electra, sixty bucks a piece. Sandlot crew, all six members, they were cheap. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Huh? That movie was a long time ago. Well, the individual, oh, individual autographs, or uh, twenty. Yeah, and then uh, okay. Randy Couture, sixty dollars. Matt Hughes, I don't even know who Matt Hughes is. And who is this Ruby Rah Rah I don't know. Ruby, I don't know. But she's forty bucks. Nolan Ryan. Yeah, Nolan Ryan. I would win my premium yeah. item autograph. Well, it's not, it's not really that terrible. Hakeem, whoever that is. I don't know what that is. What is that? 
I can't read it. I don't, I don't know. Akeem, the African James, who I think is half when I think of Akeem. He might be a runner or something. I don't know. But anyway, he's yeah, hundred bucks. Easily. Earl Campbell, sixty dollars. Randy Tovini, Rudy to I some I assume he's a football player. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's what he Then you got down here Alan Iverson. I think mm -hmm. Alan Iverson. Is that yeah. Alan? Hmm, that would, he's pretty cheap, Alan Iverson. Vince Young. Pete Rose. Where's Pete Rose at? Oh, yeah. He's pretty cheap. Yeah. And Ricky Williams. Dennis Rodman, the worm, 60 bucks. Damn. Can you give him Lawrence Damn. Taylor? He was in the. Uh, Last week on him? Yeah. About a month. Lawrence Taylor, he was in WrestleMania 10 uh, main event. Interesting. You can get a bad motherfucker inscription for 49 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon my language, but that's what it said. Does it spell it out? Oh, it bleeps it out. Yeah. Okay. I'm curious. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and here we go. We'll go back to regular scheduled back, program. Back to the regular scheduled program. We get on a tangent. Yeah. Then you got uh, the wrestling magazine here. We'll go over that magazine. I'll take it some other, some other time. Yeah, but we'll go over that. Check it out and review it. I love wrestling magazines. Got another one over here. Nice. Uh, the Warrior and uh, Macho King on the cover. And uh, anyway, we'll go over that. Then you always oh, got his autograph show tickets here, I guess. So he yeah, got Becky Lynch. he got Becky Lynch, Leo Rush, another another Leo Rush. He might have kept those. Ray Mysterio, I didn't, was his price on there? Um, I don't know. It's right there, it is. Oh, his price. Yeah. It tells right there. I'm, oh, does it? $90 for a photo. Mm. He might have kept that one. Then you got, uh, oh, it's up there. Remember we got in the thing. Oh. Let's see what he, he paid. 60 bucks, 70 bucks for Johnny Gargano. 90 bucks for Ray Mysterio. Another, so he got two 90 bucks, man. Another, he got another. Cause you have to pay for the picture and like, Oh, okay. Autograph. Roman Reigns got 170. The Tribal Chief. And 170, he yeah. got an autograph and a yeah. picture. I think he kept that one, remember it was great. Sasha Banks, 90, 90 on Charlotte Flair. Another 90 on Charlotte Flair. And he got, Two or three things signed by this guy's been a fortune on autographs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Randy Orton. We got uh, over here. We got Bray yeah. Wyatt. I didn't even see that Bray Wyatt autograph. Did you? Uh, it, it might be in the back door. It might There's be. More to go. Million Dollar Man. Ted DiBiase. Oh, and you got over here Gangrel. The. Uh, he was actually going to make an appearance for AEW, but they canceled it. But they still paid him, so that was good on AEW. And he was, uh, this guy was actually married to Luna Vachon. I didn't realize that until uh, I watched that Dark Side of the Ring where he was uh, married to. But I remember him most, mostly from his WWE run where he would come out, him, Edge, and Christian, and drink the blood and, and all that. I remember as a kid, I was like, man, that's crazy. Drink the blood. You got Scott Norton over here, Scott Flash Norton. He was uh, big in WCW, but really even, he was an IWGP champion in New Japan. And a really tough guy, I, but he was also a part of black uh, black and white NWO. Another another picture of Gangrel over here. We got Jerry Lawler. Uh, Looking pretty sharp there. Yeah. Jerry Lawler, one of the in my opinion, one of the greatest. He doesn't get a lot of credit for what he is, but he's like one of the greatest pro wrestlers. If you watch his, I mean, he makes it very believable. I've never, throws a better punch than anybody in the business. He's also had like 160 championships throughout his career. I mean, Jerry Lawler, he's really something. And, uh, I mean, he doesn't get a lot of credit and hope he gets, hope he gets well. We, you know, he's still, he should have, he should have beat the Miz for the WWE Championship back in that. When they were feuding in a few years ago, they should have let him have a token WWE title run. Anyway, then you got over here the Cactus Jack autograph. That was that's Cactus Jack and Terry Funk. Looks like in maybe Japan or one of their yeah. 
And it looks like a barbed wire match over here. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. They were two best friends that love to fight each other. <laughs> and you can see the uh, rings got barbed wire. Can you see? The, can they see yeah, that? You now? Can see it. Yeah. Let me go. go over here. We got the barbarian and the warlord. If I can get unstuck here. The powers of pain with Mr. Fuji. Uh. Uh, yeah, that Mr. Fuji, he didn't he didn't sign it, but he's been gone a little while. You got Sabu autograph over here. Uh, and Jeannie, Jeannie passed away a few years ago. Remember we seen him up there in uh, Oklahoma, that one show. Mm -hmm. and they, but she passed away shortly after that. He's got a lot that's of gang cool. girl stuff in here. He got, that's a gang girl comic book there. That's cool. It's on too. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Squared circle. We might look that over, review that on the. He's got. I guess he's plugging his YouTube channel on the back. Then we got over here another. I'll pull this one out. I'll put it in the frame. Carrie Von Eric. Photo with Carrie. Five dollars. You can see it in the background. Yeah. And I assume that's. Carrie looked good there. <laughs> autograph or whatever. I don't know. Like I don't know. Y'all tell us if that's his legit autograph. I'm, I'm not a big autograph guy. I don't have, really have any autographs. Now we have a bunch. Yeah, now we have a bunch. <laughs> We've had these for some time, but then you've got Trish Stratus. She's she just I don't know if she's done, wrapped up with WWE or she's gonna come back. And uh, but anyway, that's uh, Trish Stratus. And I assume that's all of them there. Um, that's it. Missing a few autographs. Brandon, you held out on us. We didn't get no, uh, who we missing? Roman, Roman Reigns? Reigns? I think that was the sign. There was a picture of him with Roman Reigns. On oh, the was there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, we want Roman Reigns autograph. <laughs> <laughs> we missed it. And uh, anyway, we hope you like this kind of content. And we're going to go through all this wrestling collection piece by piece. And thanks for watching.